Hey guys, happy Monday! Today in reading we are going to be reading a fable called Madame Rhinoceros and Her Dress. Remember a fable is a story that one is going to talk about animals as characters, two it is going to be a story that teaches you some type of lesson or moral that maybe you can use in your own life or that maybe will make you a better person. As I'm reading the story today, go ahead and think to yourself about what words the author uses to describe the rhinoceros and maybe how she feels and what you know about her as a character. Madame Rhinoceros saw a dress in the window of a shop. It was covered with polka dots and flowers. It was adorned with ribbons and lace. Adorned means that they're on it. So on it was ribbons and lace. She admired it for a moment and then entered the shop. That dress in the window, said Madame Rhinoceros to a salesperson. I'd like to try it on. Madame Rhinoceros put on the dress. She looked at herself in the mirror. I do not think this dress is looking good at all, she said. But madam, says the salesperson, you're completely wrong. This dress makes you look glamorous. Hmm, if only I were sure, said madam, rhinoceros. Ah, uh, madam, said the salesperson, everyone who sees you wearing this dress will be filled with admiration and envy. Envy means that people might be a little bit jealous of you. Do you really think so, asked madam rhinoceros, turning around and around in front of the mirror. Absolutely, said the salesperson. You have my word. Very well, said Madame Rhinoceros. I will buy the dress and I will wear it right now. Hmm. Madame Rhinoceros left the shop. As she walked up the avenue, she saw that people were smiling and laughing at her. Admiration? Hmm. Thought Madame Rhinoceros. She saw some people were shaking their heads and frowning. Envy? thought Madame Rhinoceros. She continued up the avenue. Everyone who saw her stopped and stared. Miss Rhinoceros felt more glamorous and alluring with every single step. Hmm. Do you guys think she was feeling proud of herself? Do you think she was feeling like people were just staring at her? What are your thoughts about how she was feeling? And if you were picturing her looking like this, then you were correct. I did not think she would have those things on top of her head, but I knew she would have a polka dotted coat. And I didn't think the ribbons would look like that, but I knew she'd have ribbons because that's what the author said.